This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and I have got Pauline Onger back with me. You are the broker of record for Royella Page in Smith Falls and Perth. Thanks for coming back. You've been here before. <laughs> it's always great to be here though. You're such a great champion for local things happening. So. Well, so are you, so are you. And we're here to talk about something you're doing right now too. So let's just, let's get right to it. You have a faux fur coat that's been around since 2008. It's got a bit of a history and uh, you're being really creative with, with raising some money for women's shelters here. So let's talk about it. So uh, the Rolla Page Shelter Foundation, uh, that's all the Rolla Pages across Canada, raise money for not only their local shelters, but for national programs about uh, violence prevention and you know how, how to help people look at healthy relationships and how to make sure that we're all aware of what's going on and how, how relationships should work and how to protect women who are in violent situations. So a very uh, wonderful roller pager went to a thrift store and bought the coat for a dollar. And uh, it's been auctioned at every roller page conference since then. And, you know, it's raised over $110,000, the coat itself. Um, and so one, I was at one of the conferences and it went for $4,500, but you don't get to keep it. You only get to keep it for a year. And but we haven't had any national conferences because, of course, COVID has stopped all our in-person conferences, though we're back. The Royal Page is having one in Winnipeg in September. But until then, Royal Page said, well, how can we still keep, you know, the whole concept of the coat going and still raise money for uh, violence prevention across Canada? And so it, they put out a call to all of the Royal Pagers said, you know, you can bid on the coat to have it for a set period of time. So it's in Smith Falls for the next couple of weeks. And um, our social media is feeding it. Uh, we got the coat, it was lovely to get, um, but we had the Outer Bridges doing some sales promotion for our office. And lo and behold, Marion was levitating in front of the office. You'll see that on our social media feed. And the coat disappeared with Marion. And so we need people to donate to the Rolla Page Shelter Foundation to get that coat back and uh, have Marion uh, appear again. Um, and in the meantime, you're gonna get to see the social media feed as she appears in different places in Smith Falls. So, she, she keeps popping up every once in a while in certain places and we need to find her. We need to find her. And so please, uh, you know, join in. It's on our social media feed and we're also sharing it and our realtors are sharing it. Uh, but it's, it's a great cause because um, it's a cause near and dear to many of our hearts because the pandemic has been a very difficult time for women and women in, in not healthy relationships. And we need to support uh, that. And so it's a good cause and, uh, and it's a great game. So, uh, and who doesn't love the Outer Bridges? Oh, I know. Aren't they wonderful people? And I mean, when you're talking about being creative, who better to help, help you out is than, than Ted and Marion? And uh, so Ted and Marion were great. They were um, at the office uh, to levitate and the coat disappeared. And of course uh, their social media feed will also have it because um, they're of course the key whole house that they own. So that's all part of the great history of Smith Falls. And, uh, and Smith Falls has a great history for supporting good causes. And so I know, um, I, you know, we've already had some donations, but we're, you know, the great thing about um, having a cause is people do a step up to it. So I'm looking forward to people donating to the Rolla Page uh, Shelter Foundation. You just have to add both coat and they know that it's come from the coat. But uh, the money is going to more to education this time as, as opposed to, you know, set shelters. It's about, you know, we really need to move education ahead. Right, right. I mean, when we talk about history of Smith Falls, history of anything, your history of helping people, uh, helping women's shelters has been going on for a long time. You walked through the Sierra Desert. I did. I walked 100 kilometers across the Sahara Desert as part of a Rolla Page um, Shelter Foundation a fundraiser. Um, the, the Shelter Foundation raised over a million dollars with that trek. Um, and uh, so I was very pleased to donate. Um, just a little over $8,000 to uh, both 
the uh, foundation, uh, the Interville House in Lanark and the Interville House in Leeds. So um, it's it's a you know it's it's something I'm very proud to have done. Um, people still think I was a little crazy doing it, but uh, but it was a great cause. And actually, the Royal Cage Shelter Foundation, since its conception in '98 has raised over $38 million wow. that have all gone just to women's shelters and to women, uh, to uh, violence pre uh, prevention for women. Yeah. Wow. 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 Well, when was it you did that when you walked through the Sierra? That was a few years it, ago. It was just before COVID. So I did it the end of November, the 1st of December in 2019. Wow. wow. So, and COVID wasn't even talked about. Uh, <laughs> so it, you know, I look at it as a both the great opportunity to go to Morocco, um, but uh, quite a challenge. You know, it was interesting. The 30 of us in our group are still all great friends and uh, we we chat often. We have our own messenger group. And one of them reached out for me, who's away in London, um, England this morning with a, with a real estate question. So it, it just, you know, it cemented all of us, but it also every day when we were there, we got a letter um, that was read to us from a survivor of uh, violence and uh, very, very, very poignant stories uh, that brought us all to tears about uh, leaving very difficult uh, relationships and how shelters really helped women survive and their children survive. I mean, you, you, you say you made some connections with the, the people that walked across the Sierra with you, but uh, when you, you make connections with the people and learn the stories of why you walked across the Sierra. That just it well, it yeah. tugs at your yeah. You're, we're grateful every day, you know, uh, that there are shelters in Canada for women who are experiencing violence. But like everything else, you know, uh, there wasn't an opportunity through the pandemic for women to get out of those shelters sometimes, and th they were full. And you know, we talked to. The people who run the shelters and it was a very difficult time because there was there's been through this 24 months a lot of need for um assistance to women in uh very difficult situations yes absolutely it was an eye opener for people uh that, that you know we found out what was going on behind closed doors but it also brought to light some issues that began because of the pandemic too the mental health yes. so yeah very much. And one of the mm -hmm. great parts of the Road Page Shelter Foundation is that they were one of the founding members of a program called the Fourth R, which is a curriculum based program that's in a lot of schools and it talks about healthy relationships. So it's about starting um, the discussion long before we're adults and we're making, you know, choices of where we're going in life. It's, it's like learning how people you know in relationships talk to each other or should talk to each other and how respect is about you know relationships and i think that's really important i think you know our grassroots our little children need from the beginning to learn that's right that's what right yeah sadly some children go home and that's that's normal to them and, it, and it's not it shouldn't be no and i think that's part of you know if the pandemic again has taught us anything it's that we you know, need to perhaps focus more on on the children and how they see healthy relationships and and how they can overcome their past and know that there's, you know, there's lots of relationships that are really good. That's right. That's right. There's a lot of people out there that care. That's for sure. That's there. for sure. So let's talk about the code again. How do we make donations and where do you, where has Marion been that we won't look for her there? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would take all the fun out of going online and looking for it. I so, guess, yes. <laughs> yeah. so, so Smith Falls has some great uh, places to uh, show off. And, you know, we have great museums. We have a wonderful library. Um, the, Rio Canal is, <laughs> the Rio Canal is near and dear to our hearts. Um, and everybody wearing a fur coat, even if it's faux, should drop in, you know, to a spa. And so, you know, uh, so we have to kind of uh, look for those. Um uh, but um, on our site, it will say that um, you're going to donate through the Royal of Page um, website donation. And so it's our key donation. And what I'll do is I'll fire that at you so you can add it to your um, the type set so you can see it online. 
Awesome. That's great. That's great. Well, we look forward to looking for Marion this week and uh, you have it for a couple of weeks. Yeah. 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 So, so we started it earlier in the week and through next week. So you'll, you'll get to see it through the weekend. And, and you, you already know, know where it's going to after this. Well, how would I know that? It's a surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we'll look out for Mary and everybody check this out online. Yes. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give you it so you can add it on the tagline and okay. uh, we'll have it. That's awesome. Thank you very much for joining us. Pauline Onger, broker of record for Smith Falls and Perth for Royal LePage. But we're having a lot of fun right now raising money for women's shelters with Find That Coat. We got to find Marion. We need Marion in the coat back. <laughs>